Hi everybody, it's Miss Renee from the Elbert County Library and I'm going to read you a Valentine story. It's, it's Pete the Cat. I love Pete the Cat. Let me tell you about this book. It's called Pete the Cat. Valentine's Day is cool. And it's by Kimberly and James Dean. They're the authors. They're also the illustrators. Well, let's see who puts out this book. Harper Books. Harper Collins Publishers are the publishers of the book. Look at that. Here. All right. Are you ready for a good story? Let's get started. Well, I will show you pictures after I read. I cannot read with the book turned backwards, so I always show. I always read it and then show you the pictures. So here we go. It was the day before Valentine's Day, and Pete was riding his skateboard home when he saw his friend Callie. She was holding a big red heart that said, love, ooh, love, yeah, look at that. He's got a big yellow skateboard. That's kind of cool, isn't it? So, have you finished your Valentine's Day cards, Callie asked? No, Pete said. Valentine's Day is not cool. Whoa. Oh, Pete, Callie said. Valentine's Day is my favorite holiday. It's a day to tell people how special they are to you, Callie insisted. Pete skated on, but something in the back of his mind told him Callie might be right. I think she's right. Do you think she's right? I do. Wait. By the time Pete got home, he had decided that Callie was right about Valentine's Day. So he got out his pencils, some paper, some crayons, some markers, and he sat down at the kitchen table. First, Pete started to work on a card for his friend Larry. Pete made several cards with big red hearts, but he was just not happy with it. I wonder why. Hmm. Well, let's find out why he wasn't happy. Pete wanted to make the perfect card for every cat in his class. I'll never get all these cards done in time, Pete told his mom. Pete's mom just smiled. Just do your best, she said. Just tell Larry why he is cool. There's something cool about every cat. Pete got back to work. He thought hard about what was cool about Larry. Oh, he did it this time. Perfect, Pete said. To Larry, happy Valentine's Day from Pete. He realized that Pete likes a football. He likes to play football, throw the football, catch the football. So he made him a football card. That's, that's telling something you thought. You had to use your head to think about that, right? You got to think about what somebody likes and what's special about them. After that, it didn't take Pete long to make cards for all the boys in his class. He made one to Josh with a soccer ball, one to Trey with a guitar, electric guitar. He sent one to Rob with a red convertible car on it. And then he sent one to John with a piano. Look at there. With piano keys, because he knew he likes to play the piano. Wow, how awesome was that? That's pretty cool. He realized what everybody liked and what made them special, and so he did something special. Then Pete made special cards for all the girls, and you know what he wrote? Love, Pete. On each one, he sure did. He said, love, Pete. And of course, he made the biggest heart-shaped card for his mama. Look at that. How sweet is that? I think that's sweet. The next day, Pete and Callie waited for the bus together. And Pete said to Callie, I decided you were right about Valentine's. 
Valentine's Day is cool. That's awesome, Callie said. By the way, I am having a Valentine's Day party at my house after school if you want to come. The bus pulled up then and Pete and Callie got on. Mr. Ted, the bus driver, smiled and said, Good morning. But as soon as they were in their seats, Pete put his head in his paws. Oh, no. And Callie said, Oh, what's wrong? Oh, what could be wrong? Could he have forgotten his cards? Let's find out. I forgot to make a card for Mr. Ted, he cried. Then Pete thought, but I can make him an awesome card before we get to school. So Pete pulled out a piece of paper and colored pencils from his backpack, and he began to draw. Happy Valentine's Day. Thanks for picking us up every day from school, Pete and Callie said as they handed Mr. Ted his Valentine. Thank you, Mr. Ted told them. You just made my day. And look what they put on his card. A school bus. Look at that. Can you see it? Awesome. That was sweet. What about Miss Gold, the crossing guard? We need to make her a Valentine too. Pete practically shouted. He was so, oh, we got to get this done. Let's do it, Callie said. Let's make Valentine's for everybody and everyone. So Pete and Callie got super busy making cards for everyone. They made one for Miss Gold, the crossing guard. They made one for the policeman. They made one for a fireman. They even made one for a librarian that said, read. Look at that. That's the best ever. Don't you just love it? I love that. I love that so much. That's so cool. What's wrong, Pete? I forgot. Oh, wait a minute. I missed a page. Sorry. After school, Pete went to Callie's party. He rang the bell and then he froze. Callie opened the door only to find her friend in a panic. What's wrong now? Let's see. Are you ready to find out? I want to know what's going on. What's wrong, Pete? I forgot something very important, Pete admitted. What, Callie asked. I just realized I forgot to make you a card, Pete said. That's okay, Pete. Cards are just a way of showing you care. Hanging out with you, that's way better than any card. This is the best Valentine's Day ever. They had cake that said love on it. And then you know what Pete said. And happy Valentine's to you. Love, Pete. And love, Miss Renee. Happy Valentine's.